there are so many stories like this that could have ultimately just been forgotten because it's this sort of inconvenient secret. Um, this law was, a, was an inconvenient secret that not many people knew about and I didn't know about it. Blue Jean is set in the 1980s in the UK, the north of England, and it's a portrait drama about a woman called Jean, who is a lesbian PE teacher, sports teacher, working um, in the late 80s, which was the year that Thatcher brought in a new law that was called Section 28. Um, and this law said that it was illegal to promote homosexuality in schools and local governments. I really loved the scene where Jean is talking to her sister in her sister's house and um, it really shows this sort of attitude that I knew growing up which was that people uh, seem to say that they weren't homophobic or that they didn't have these kinds of feelings but um, the subtlety of their homophobia and the microaggressions that queer people endure every day are, are so clear. The conversations that happen in the film are conversations that I've been witness to or conversations that my friends have been witness to or conversations that um, I s were inspired by newspaper articles from the time and things like that so I was just attempting to paint a picture of um, what it was like to be a woman at that time. Obviously lots of things have changed since the 80s for LGBTQ plus people, but it's, I think too much focus is put on how much has changed and how far we've come and how much we've progressed. And part of my desire to tell this story came from the fact that I felt as filmmakers, as queer filmmakers, we were being encouraged to only tell stories about the queer experience that painted it in a wholly positive light. And that wasn't my experience and it wasn't the experience of lots of people I know. And yeah, maybe the reason that there aren't so many uh, films with as many female characters is just about, I think it's just to do with representation across the board, who's, who is being given the right to tell their stories. When I started out, everyone on the film crews that I was working with was was male and everybody when I started directing everybody would assume that I was there to make the tea or and so I experienced quite a lot of overt blatant sexism early in my career and so I would say everything has shifted and progressed in a good way and obviously having more balanced numbers of men and women on a film set changes everything dramatically and you don't have that kind of behavior and uh, anymore or at least I, I haven't experienced it for a while mm -hmm.